Hello, welcome to Its Science. When someone is behind us, we can't see the person, but if he or she tells something, we can hear the voice from the background, but we are not able to see that particular person. Why is that? When the person behind him is telling something, then the sound waves are coming from her vo vocal cord. And these sound waves approaching the person in front of her like this. But after getting abstracted with his dimension, these sound waves are getting bent and will reach his ear. And he will be able to hear her because of the bending of the sound towards his ear. Here the bending of sound is known as the diffraction of waves. Now as light is also wave, light will also get diffracted. But here there is a condition of diffraction which is needed to be satisfied. The condition of diffraction is the size. Suppose this is human voice. This is the wave emanating from human vocal cord. And the wavelength of this voice is of the order of about 15 millimeter to 15 meter. And he is having a dimension of say 1.5 meter or 1.6 meter or so. So both the wavelengths are compatible. And because of this compatibility, these sound waves are getting bent towards his ear. But what about light waves? Light waves are very tiny waves compared to him. Light waves are of the order of 400 nanometer to 700 nanometers. 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter and his dimension is about 1.5 meter. So it is uh, 1.5 meter and the light waves are emanating with a wavelength of uh, say uh, 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So there is no match between this. If we uh, compare this with the size of a virus and size of uh, say dinosaur, uh, the largest dinosaur which is Argentinosaurus, uh, his height or his uh, length was uh, calculated as uh, about 40 meters or so. But uh, if we think about a virus, a virus uh, ranges, its length ranges between 1 to 400 nanometer. So there is no compatibility. We can't compare a size of a virus and size of a dinosaur. The same thing happens with the light waves emanating from him, which is of the order of 10 to the power minus 9 meter and the size of him, which is of the order of meter. That's why the light is not getting diffracted. But I will make an experiment in this video to show you that light can also be diffracted. I used a laser pointer a laser source, laser is actually abbreviation of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. The speciality of laser is laser source is very much coherent that is wavelengths emanating from the source is very much in phase with each other and it is emanating a monochromatic light. Mono means one and chrome means color. Here we can see only the green color. So it's a monochromatic source of light. And I used some play sticks with which I used to play in my childhood. These play sticks are placed on a thick sheet of styrofoam. The separation distance between these two plastics are not uniform throughout. But when that is at which place the separation between the plastics matches with the size of the mm. wavelength, then only we get the diffraction pattern. In the diffraction pattern, we have seen some 
light regions where the light intensities are greater and in between those light regions there are darker patches. This is a diffraction of laser light with my play sticks. You can uh, use it uh, I mean you can make this at home also. Thank you very much for your time and please put your suggestions in the comment section below.